Entangling ISF Exemptions Understanding Exceptions from Filing Requirements Introduction Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing an important topic related to customs brokerage and importing goods exemptions from filing and importer security filing ISF. If you have questions about scenarios where ISF filing is not required, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Overview of Importer Security Filing ISF The Importer Security Filing ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, is a mandatory requirement by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP for ocean shipments entering the United States. It collects specific information about the cargo being imported to enhance supply chain security. General Requirement for ISF Filing In general, nearly all cargo imported into the United States is subject to ISF filing requirements. However, there are a few specific exceptions and exemptions. Exemption for goods being imported by the government Goods being imported by the U.S. government or any agency, department, or instrumentality of the U.S. government are exempt from ISF filing requirements. This exemption applies regardless of the type or nature of the goods. Exemption for goods exclusively intended for transshipment goods that are imported into the United States and are exclusively intended for immediate exportation or transportation in bond to another country are exempt from ISF filing requirements. This exemption recognizes the transient nature of such goods. Exemption for certain crude oil and natural gas Certain crude oil and natural gas shipments are exempt from ISF filing requirements. These exemptions apply to certain vessels engaged in the bulk transport of crude oil or natural gas and are subject to specific requirements and regulations outlined by CBP. Limited exceptions for low-value shipments Low-value shipments, defined as those with a customs value of $800 or less, are generally exempt from ISF filing requirements. However, it is important to note that even though these shipments are exempt from ISF filing, they may still be subject to other customs requirements and documentation. Exceptions for certain types of shipments ISF filing requirements may vary for certain types of shipments, such as shipments of personal effects, used household goods, goods imported under a temporary importation bond tip, or goods subject to specific provisions outlined by CBP. Exceptions for simplified entry process Certain types of cargo, such as consolidated sea freight shipments, may benefit from a simplified entry process. This process streamlines customs clearance by allowing a single ISF filing for multiple importers sharing the same consolidated shipment. Special trade programs and qualified cargo While ISF filing is generally required, cargo imported under specific trade programs or free trade agreements FTAs may enjoy certain benefits. These benefits can include preferential duty rates or exemptions, depending on the specific requirements outlined in the trade program or FTA. Additional exemptions and regulatory considerations It is important to note that exemptions from ISF filing can have specific criteria and conditions. It is advisable to consult with a licensed customs broker, CBP guidelines, or other trusted sources for up-to-date and accurate information regarding exemptions and regulatory considerations. Compliance with other customs requirements While exemptions from ISF filing may apply in specific scenarios, importers must still adhere to other customs requirements, such as duty payment, documentation retention, classification accuracy, and compliance with any additional specific requirements for the imported goods. Understanding regulatory updates and changes regulations related to ISF filing and exemptions are subject to change. Importers should stay informed about any updates or changes issued by CBP or other relevant governing authorities to ensure compliance with the latest requirements and exemptions. Consultation with customs professionals If you have questions or concerns about exemptions from ISF filing, it is advisable to consult with licensed customs professionals. They can provide personalized guidance based on your specific circumstances and help navigate the complex regulations and exemptions. In conclusion, while ISF filing is generally required for most cargo imported into the United States, there are exceptions and exemptions for certain scenarios. Exemptions include goods imported by the government, goods exclusively intended for transshipment, certain crude oil and natural gas shipments, and low-value shipments. It is important to stay informed and consult with customs professionals to understand the specific exemptions and regulatory requirements for your cargo. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and gained a better understanding of exemptions from filing and importer security filing ISF. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos on customs brokerage, customs bond, and other topics related to international trade. See you soon. Stay tuned for our next video. In our next video, we will explore another intriguing aspect of customs brokerage and international trade. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to sharing more valuable information with you in our upcoming videos.